Welcome back to another exciting video, everyone. My name is Daryl, and today we're gonna be looking at a new plugin for the Divi theme. And I think this plugin gives maybe like 50 different features or something like that for the Divi theme. So if you're using the Divi theme and you want different features like different blog layouts, different header styles, different footer styles, uh, this plugin is for you. Now in this video, I'm gonna go over some of the features of this plugin. I'm actually gonna show you the back end of what this plugin can do. Now it's made by DiviLover.com and they're known for making some of the best Divi plugins out there. Uh, for example, right here, you can make sidewide changes, you know, and it's kind of cool because when you, it, it integrates with the theme customizer and you can actually see it because it's colored differently so you know it's the actual plugin. Uh, because I've used plugins in the past where you don't know if it's the, the plugin or if that's the theme options. Uh, but anyways, you know, right here, you can make different blog options. You can have different, you know, I just gotta show you. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you all the things that you get with this plugin because there is a lot to talk about. And right here, you can see everyone's happy, everyone's having a good time. You know, they have good, uh, a lot of positive reviews about the Divi Toolbox plugin. Now, I've installed it on my demo website right here. So let me just go ahead in the back end and show you this plugin. Now, go ahead and sit back, relax, you know, go get a, go get your favorite beer, you know? So go get your, I, I, my favorite's Modelo. It's, it's always been Modelo, you know? But right here under the Divi options, we have the Divi Toolbox. Now, right here we have general, header, footer, mobile, blog, modules, and extra. It should be a song, you know? But uh, right here you can add different functionality to the Divi theme depending on what you're trying to accomplish. So right here we have you know, global style headings. You can enable that or disable that. A custom login page. Wow, that is something different. Right here I'll click on uh, customize, Toolbox Customizer. Now I've enabled that. So this is just one of the many features that you can have with, with this plugin. And right here, you can kind of see that I've already decorated it. You know, I, I, I made it black and I put my little image right here and you know, that's what I decided to do. Now, right here on the left side, you can see Divi Toolbox and right here are the options for the plugin as well. So you have general, you have header, uh, you have footer, and then you also have uh, modules as well. So before I kind of go into that, uh, let's just go back, let's step back here and, and we're gonna start from the beginning over here. And then after we're done reviewing it, we'll talk about the price and I do have a discount code for you as well. So right here, you, you have the option to hide projects. You know, I'm sure you, many of you have seen Divi comes with the projects by default and sometimes you don't want that. Uh, right here, you can allow SVG file uploads and that's trending. A lot of people are starting to use SVG uploads because it's kind of trending right now in web design. A custom, a custom browser scroll bar. You know, that does sound very interesting. Uh, right here, you can kind of change how the 404 pages looks. You can also hide the 404 header, also hide the 404 footer as well. Enable custom social icons. And guys, the best way to actually see this in action is to just enable it and check out the theme customizer. And you can check out the theme customer customizer by just simply clicking on the toolbox customizer right there. It'll take you directly to the theme customizer. Now they have other options right here, but I wanna go ahead and talk about, we're, we're talking about the really good ones, the really good ones that I, I liked, you know? A uh, header, this is a really cool one. It adds different animations for your header on your websites. That was pretty cool. A CTA button, you ever been to those websites where like this, for example, right here, you have the button next to your menu. If you wanna have that feature, you can do it with this plugin. Now by default, you'll probably have to enter a lot of custom CSS. And when you update something, it could break and it can lose everything. But with this plugin, it'll make your life a lot easier. So I recommend I recommend checking it out. Um, also for the logo image, you can change the logo on fixed menu. You know, when you're dealing with clients, I, I was there guys, I was making websites for people for two years. And I know clients are the worst thing in web design. Making sites is easy. But when it comes time to actually making the website, you got to deal with clients and clients are crazy. I mean, half of them need therapy. They're out they're, they're, they tell me about their, their boyfriend and girlfriend problems. And I'm just like, okay, I, I'm just here to make the website, you know? And they, trust me, I, I've been there. I, I've dealt with some really crazy people, you know? Uh, also, they have custom layouts as well. So if you wanna have a specific custom layout for a certain section, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, footer, right here, you have this option for a sticky footer. Now, this one thing I liked right here, this option I thought was really different. So right here, back to top button. You're thinking to yourself, okay, Daryl, I've heard of back to top. There's nothing special, Divi already has that. And I was kind of messing around with it. And then I realized that you can actually add a specific custom URL to that custom, uh, to that section. So on the bottom section right there, which is scroll to the top, you can actually have a link to somewhere else on your website, which I thought was pretty creative because I was so used to seeing scroll to the top and going to the top, you know, but now you have a link where you can put it anywhere you want, which is pretty cool. 
uh, custom layouts before the footer and custom layouts after the footer. So if you want to have a specific layout before, after the footer, uh, by default, that's global, you can go ahead and put it in right here. But my Divi library is empty. So you'll need to have something in your Divi library and then it'll show up right there. Uh, mobile. Uh, of course, you know, hamburger, different hamburger effects. You know, we have different things for mobiles, you know. You know, I, I just don't use mobile too much. You know, mo uh, the theme is already pretty responsive, but uh, right here you can have, uh, wait, wait, enable custom mobile menu style. Okay, so it looks like here you can actually customize that in the theme customizer, which let me step back here. That sounds pretty cool, actually. So let me let me check this out. Now, I've only checked out this plugin probably four or five times, and um, it was enough for me to say uh, I really liked it. I thought it was cool. Uh, I believe this section right here is mobile styles. So right here we have a, a custom mobile menu style. Let me go ahead and say that really quickly. Let me see if we can get let me see if we can get that to show up. It's in the plugin somewhere. It's there. It exists. All right, there we go. So you have to make sure you save it first. Uh, mobile menu bar. So it looks like there is a lot you can do with mobile. I mean, that is a lot of customization. You can change the hamburger icon. You can change the mobile search. And that's actually really cool because if you had a drop that menu on Divi and it's transparent, um, it's going to show like that on mobile. And I'm, I'm, if you guys have used Divi in the past and seen that you have a drop down menu, you have to add like a background color to it. So these options right here would probably help you fix that problem. So that's really cool to have that in. That is actually a really big area. I was like, oh, it's just the mobile menu stuff. But, you know, people are on their phones more than the browser or the desktops. You know, it's it's really true. Like, it's kind of sick how society just all is always on their phone. You know, like whenever I go out hiking, I see people on their phone. I'm like, dude, get a life, you know. But it's it's really true. People are always on their phones and they're always visiting websites, etc. So um, also you can kind of check out, they have like different stuff right here. This is more for developers, people who are using CSS. Not necessarily developers, you know, you don't have to be a developer to know CSS. Uh, different blog layouts right here. You can have a custom archive and category pages. That is something really cool because that's something right now Divi really lacks. So if you click on a, a custom or an archive page, it takes you to the default one by Divi. And with this plugin, you can have a custom one, which will save you a lot of time and make your website look a lot more professional. Blog archive layouts. Here you can have different layouts. Now I'm not going to go through each of these because obviously, you know, these are pictures and you can just tell by looking at the pictures, right? Uh, hide archive sidebars. You know, just a lot of very useful, uh, very useful options that Divi really lacks. You know, uh, Divi really does lack a lot of these features and this plugin kind of uh, makes up for it, it solidifies it to kind of make it, um, you know, fix the problems. Now, the extra section is really cool. You can have preloaders, uh, cu custom pop-ups as well. Uh, that right there is a really cool feature. In fact, the, many people need a plugin for this, but it looks like this plugin already has that. You can enable particle backgrounds. You can have the tilt effect. I mean, there's just so much you can have with this plugin. So, uh, the amount of features that you get inside of this plugin is like the ultimate Divi toolbox plugin. I mean, if there's something that you want to do like in the middle with Divi, like the archive page or something with this or something that's bothering you about it, like a preloader, this plugin is for you. Now, let me talk about the most important thing is price. So how much is this plugin? $200, $300, $400? No, it's 49 bucks, but I actually have a coupon code for you as well. So there is a link below to this website. It's made by divilover.com. They also make other various Divi products. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and view the cart really quick and just see if this, let's see if this discount's working. Oh, it is working. I was I was messing around with it earlier. All right, I kind of, <laughs> I was like acting like I didn't know and I already know. Uh, it's The coupon code is Daryl-10. If you want to go ahead and save 10% uh, off this uh, product right here. So Daryl-10 and you'll save 10% off. So it's called the Divi Toolbox plugin. Um, it's a great plugin if you're using Divi. It's uh, Divi by default has some like, you know, cracks here and there and uh, this plugin really solidifies it. It really gives you a lot of customization. It fixes a lot of problems. You can add custom archive pages, just really, really cool stuff with this plugin. So I really recommend it if you're using the Divi theme. And if you haven't used the Divi theme yet and you're still watching this video, what are you doing? But I do have a full tutorial for you in the description below on how to make a WordPress website with the Divi theme. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like this plugin. If you do decide to purchase it, give them a review, you know, say, hey, you know, I, I saw this plugin on YouTube. Uh, very cool, very nice. Check out their websites. Uh, this plugin looks like it took quite a bit of time to make because the amount of stuff inside of it is pretty promising. So again, my name is Daryl Wilson and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.